is going to move you through a full body stretch. So we're just looking to unwind here. Um, it can be useful, you know, right after exercise, maybe before bed if you wanted to unwind and relax, or even first thing in the morning if you're feeling a bit stiff. So this is an all-rounder. Um, so just go ahead and grab a, a comfortable spot to sit down. I've got a pillow under my seat. Um, if you have something similar that we can use further down the stretch, that'd be great. Otherwise, you just need yourself. Okay, so we're starting in a nice comfortable position, either having the seat elevated on the pillow or not. We're gonna sit tall through the spine. As we inhale for a big breath, I want you to press your ribs forward, arch your spine, open your throat, and look up. And then as you exhale, you'll round it out. So draw the chin towards the chest. Navel draws in towards the spine. Shoulder blades push behind you. Inhale, opens it up again. Exhale, rounds it all up. Inhale, opens it up. Exhale, rounds it up. We'll do a few more like that. So keep moving and moving with your own breath. So always let the breath initiate the movement. The inhale opens, expands the lungs, makes space. The exhale contracts, pushes everything in and up, rounds it up. A few more here. Really invite the movement into your thoracic spine. So that's your middle upper back area, rather than tipping your hips back and forth, really try to isolate that movement into the spine. Last one. And round it out. Beautiful, sitting nice and tall. We're gonna take your right hand down to the earth, lift your left up and over. And as you lift through the left fingertips, ground down through the left sitting bone. Beautiful. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, switch sides. Same thing. As your right fingertips reach up and over, ground down through your right sitting bone. Long side body. Inhale, both arms up. Interlace the fingers as you exhale, press the palms to the sky and just watch your shoulders here. They always want to creep up to the ears, but see if you can drop them down and make space between the shoulders and the earlobes. And gently release the arms. Give them a shake. And we'll get it into the neck a little bit here. So I want you to take your left hand behind your back. Bend to the elbow and the hand is to the small of the back, back of the hand, sorry. And then we're going to take the right ear to the right shoulder. So we're dropping away from that bent arm and lengthening it all through the side of the neck. Now making sure you don't close down through the front of the throat. Really keep things open here. If you're looking for a little more, you can even take that right hand onto the top of the head and just encourage it a little bit more so we're not forcing anything. you're breathing. A really important thing with stretching is breath. And breath is important for every aspect of not only a yoga practice but your life. But the breath is what invites tension release in the body. So if you're holding your breath or breathing, you know, shallow quick breaths, that's not going to invite any sort of relaxation or healing into the body. So we need to tell it, the body that it's safe, tell it to relax by doing these deep slow, consistent breaths. We'll release that one. Now take your chin, tuck it down towards your right collarbone now, and take the hand now sort of to the back of the head, gentle pull here. And unraveling there, shake of the arm, shake of the head, we'll switch sides. So I'm taking my opposite hand, my right hand behind my back. 
I'm dropping my left ear towards my left shoulder, away from the bent arm, and then I'm going to give a gentle pull here with the top hand. to invite a more supple body to invite sweetness into the muscles and to the tissues. And then releasing that one, tucking the chin down towards the left collarbone, taking the hand more to the back of the head, bringing the chin down. And releasing that one. You want to take both hands now behind the head. So if you want, you can even interlace your fingers. And I want you to press the hands into the head as you peel the elbows open, pressing them towards the back of the room. So it's opening through the chest. You can even look up slightly if that feels nice. Gently letting that go, shake it out. Well done. We're going to come to our hands and knees. You can take that pillow or whatever you've got under your seat just off to the side for now. And then we're going to stack our wrists under our shoulders and our knees under our hips. And we're going to just start to draw circles with our hips. So you can take the hips forward. If it's more comfortable, you can take the knees back. The circles can be big, little. Small, quick, fast, whatever you like. And if you find a spot that feels really nice, you can hold that stretch. And then we're going to stop wherever we are, and we're just going to start drawing the circles in the opposite direction. So for me personally, I find big, slow circles to feel really relaxing and releasing on the low back and side body. And then we're going to stop and center. I want you to take your knees nice and wide here and draw your big toes together, bringing your hands a little further ahead of your shoulders. I want you to start to tip your hips forward, draw your toes towards your bum. Keep the big toes together and gaze is forward, shoulders down away from the ears. So it's sort of like an upward facing dog, but we're on our thighs here. And then as we exhale, we're going to push back into a child's pose, wide knee. Keep the legs just as they are and we'll move through this a few times, just inviting some fluidity into the mid body and the hips. So inhale, rock it forward and exhale, send it. Inhale, rock it forward. And exhale, send it back. Two more here. Last one. Drop it down, open the front body, and send it back. You can stay in this nice child's pose here. Let your hips be super heavy to your heels. And then walk your hands over to the right. Both hands, let your head drop. And if you'd like to take it a little deeper, you can take that left hand, cross it over the right wrist. Gently unwind, walk your hands through center, and then back to the other side. So as you reach over to your left, really make sure you anchor down through the right, crossing that right wrist over the left if you did so on the other side. Unwinding back through center, we'll press up 
into our tabletop, and then we'll press back into a downward facing dog. So tucking your toes, sending your hips up and back here. So in your downward facing dog, you want to press your hands away from your face, press up through every knuckle. Lengthen the spine, lift the tops of the thighs up and back. And then start pedaling out through the feet here. Lubricating the joints, we'll lift the right leg up, three-legged dog, bend the knee, flex the foot, open your hips up to the right. Nice passive stretch here. And then we'll extend the leg long, replace it down. Inhale, lift the left up. Bend the knee, flex the foot, open the hips to the left. Open it again long, lower the foot down. Good. Looking to the top of the mat, I want you to bring your right foot through between your hands, lower your back knee down. Now we're in a low lunge here, but before, our, before you move into the next pose, it is always um, important to have your front knee stacked over your ankle for safety. But for this particular stretch, I do want you to pull your foot a little closer to your body so that you can send your knee over your toes making sure to stay planted through the heel. So this is a design stretch to get into your Achilles, into the back of the heel, into the calf, and helping with ankle mobility. You can tuck the back toes and push a little more forward if you like. Any sort of pain in the knee whatsoever, you don't want to do this one. And you're also going to feel a bit of a stretch to the front of that left hip. Good, and then we'll come out of that lunge. Take the right foot a little more forward now. Back into your low lunge, weight into the fingertips, tuck the back toe, lift the back leg. Pour that heart forward, so you want to make sure the spine is long. And lowering that back knee down. Well done. Take your hands inside of your right foot. Take your right foot out to the right edge of the mat. Turn your toes at about 45 degrees and roll your foot open. So this gives you a little more space in the hips. If you've got room, you can come down to your pillow or to your forearms. Otherwise, stay up on the hands. If you feel like you're fairly flexible and you want to get deeper into the stretch, what you do is you take that foot back flat so the sole of the foot's down. You're going to feel it more on the inner hip, and then from there you can try and drop down. See how much space you have. And then I'm going to get you to press into your hands and then moving your right foot back to the middle of the mat. So in between those front hands, untuck your back toes, straighten your front uh, leg out, let the toes lift up. From here, I want you to energetically imagine that you're dragging your front heel back towards your back knee. And that activation is going to really help lengthen through the back of this leg. Again, gazing past the toes, spine is long. From here, I want you to inhale into a lunge, and then again, exhale, send it back. So let's just move in through a couple times, lubricating the area, inviting some sweetness to the tissues. Exhale into the stretch. And send it back. Beautiful. Send the weight forward now. Plant the hands, tuck the back toes. Bend through both knees. Walk your hands all the way around so you're facing the other side of the mat. So your opposite foot is now forward. That's the idea here. Or you can just switch the feet out. Now we're going to move into that knotty lunge. So I want you to bring the foot closer to the to the body. Remember, for this particular stretch, this is how we want the setup to be. So yes, the knee is over the toe here. 
you're planting through the heel. As long as it feels safe in the knee, you're letting the knee drop over the toes, lengthening through the calf. You can tuck those back toes and press into it more. forward, press up through the heel, invite some mobility into the ankle. And then bringing that back up, we'll take the foot a little further away from the body so we can set up for a low lunge, tuck the back toe, lift the back leg, cart force forward. Slowly lowering that back knee down. I want you to take your hands inside of your left foot. Draw the left foot out to the left. Turn it out on a 45. Roll it open if you did so on the other side. But if you're looking for more of a stretch, then remember you'll keep that foot flat. You can stay upright or you can come down to forearms. Sending the breath where your body needs it, needs it most. So be aware of where you feel tight. A little bit restricted, and send the love, send the breath to that area. Open up into the hands. You can go ahead and draw that front foot back into the middle, so in between the two hands. Untuck the back toes, send the hips back, find that stretch. Front toes lift up. Energetically drawing that heel back towards your bum. And then we'll inhale for a lunge. Exhale, draw it back. A few times. One more, we'll draw it back for a stretch. Good, and I want you to take your left knee and just draw it back so you can come onto hands and knees and then eventually down onto your bottom. We'll take the soles of the feet together, front of the body. Interlace your fingers around the feet and lift through the chest. So I want you to find length in the spine here. If you can, get the elbows um, towards the legs and you can use that for leverage, but I don't want you to round down here. I really want you to focus on the length in the spine. Well, we're going to keep the left foot in if we take the right arm. You can draw that left foot right towards the inside of the right thigh. Rotate your torso first to face that right leg and then fold over it, inviting the stretch into the opposing low back. So it's really nice in there. Making sure not to go too deep or too quick. We'll sit up, take your left hand behind your left hip onto the mat. I'm going to dig into my left foot, left hand, or sorry, right foot, left hand. Lift up through the hips to this nice fluid motion, a little bit of a back bend, and the lower back down. And then we're going to switch it out. So draw the right foot into the left, left leg is long. So twist your torso to face the long leg, and then fold over it. Breath to the opposing low back. And 
and slowly rise up. Right hand plants behind the hip for support. You'll lift up and lower back down. Beautiful. Coming onto our backs. Slowly lower all the way down. Keeping the knees bent, feet are planted. I want you to cross your right foot over your left thigh so you make this nice figure four position. And you can stay here or you can pull the left leg in towards you. Always encouraging the right knee away from the right shoulder. So opening up and that's going to stretch out all through here. I want you to release that foot. Keep the legs just as they are. So you're going to keep your figure four to drop into a nice twist. So I'm going to take all my legs over to the left. Keeping my right knee up, I'm going to plant my right foot on the floor and then encourage my right knee away from my face. Finishing the twist, I'll gaze over my right shoulder. Beautiful. Take a big breath in as you exhale, draw your legs through center. Unwind, set up second side so you'll cross that left over the right now. You're going to find your figure four and you can stay here or you can pull your right leg in closer to your body, encouraging your left knee away from your left shoulder. Try to keep your head and your shoulders relaxed on the floor. Inviting relaxation with whatever's around you, just taking in the surroundings. And I hear the birds are singing. You've got a tea. I'm just allowing my body to melt away tension, be in the moment, and feel good. Good. Finishing off with a twist on this side. Drop through the right foot. So we're keeping the feet just as they are. We're dropping everything over to the right. My left foot plants down. My knee moves away from my face. My gaze looks over my left shoulder. Allow the spine to enter the twist one vertebrae at a time, like swinging it out. Taking a big breath in as you exhale, bring your knees back to center. Unwind, I want you to hug your knees into your chest. Squeeze like a tight little ball, and then we're going to rock forward and back up to a seat. That about sums up our full body stretch. If you feel like you're craving anything else, this is the perfect time to continue stretching at home or wherever you are. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.